So this is a one of the problems we're facing. Uh, you get wee loonies, idiots that buy a, a pop-up tent and then they take it away camping. They make a hell of a mess, they leave all their rubbish everywhere, they leave their tent and the place is just a mess and no wonder councils are cracking down on wild camping. It's making it harder for everybody because a few just can't obey the rules. Okay. So because of people like that, uh, the councils are making it really hard for you to wild camp. Uh, they're blocking off car parks and means that you can't camp near your tent in a lot of places. In a lot of places they just don't want you camping anymore because of all that mess. So that is one reason when I made the bow tent, when I, when I thought of making the bow tent, I thought I probably won't use this much. It's going to be too heavy. You need to take it in a car. Uh, and I know what like it is, uh, try to car camp now. It used to be no problem, but now it's really difficult. So on the subject of weight, I weighed the components of the tent, the bow tent, and the ribs we in, you've got 10 ribs, three back poles, we in it roughly 18 to 20 pounds. The big bag, which contains a heavy vinyl ground sheet measuring eight foot by two meters, also contains the liner, the front cover, the back cover, the big main cover, ropes, pegs, mallet and dibber and no doubt it'll, it'll probably more pegs will be added to that and more lines. So that comes in at £45 and the ridge pole comes in at £5, so that's a total of £70. Now, if I took that car camping and I couldn't get anywhere near the place I wanted to camp, I would need to lug £70 worth of gear. Maybe, who knows how far, maybe up tracks and all sorts, try to get to a decent place to camp, maybe next to a nice part of the river where it's quiet or next to a, a nice part of a loch where it's quiet uh, but I'd certainly need to lug 70 pounds worth of gear unless it was two years then you could share the weight or two or three the more the merrier but if you were on your own you would have to lug 70 pounds worth of tent that's not counting your sleeping gear and your cooking gear so this is what I've come up with to aid me in my quest. Okay, this is uh, three parts of the tent. Uh, got your ridge pole here. It's your ridge pole. You've got your main bag, which is a large hold all. So a large wheeled, wheeled hold all, where the wheels kind of busted up. But it's quite a big bag. And then you've got your the grey bag. That's your ribs and your back poles. That's quite a long bag, that's about five and a half feet. Uh, maybe it's a bit longer than five and a half feet. The ridge pole bag's about four four feet. Just over four feet. So you'd need to carry this plus your other gear if you're on your own, so you probably need a rucksack with your sleeping gear and your cooking gear on it. And if you had to travel a mile or so to get to a good spot, you'd want to take all your gear 
and a winner. You don't want to be walking a mile. Who's going to watch your stuff when you get there? You need to go back to get more stuff. So you need to take it all in a winner. So, using the ridge pole, this pole here, I'll show you what I done. By using the ridge pole and two sticks, one for a handle and one for a brace, I've used a 20 inch wheel uh, on two steel brackets that bolt onto the, the ridge pole. I'll need to get some uh, wing nuts so that I can tighten them by hand and dismantle it easier. But once you take the the wheel, the brackets for the wheel off, these two these two sticks, they just pull out and that's you you've got your ridge pole. Uh, so I think it's it'd be a lot easier loading this up and taking it maybe through wooded areas and along footpaths and whatever. I mean, you could quite easily uh, push this for a couple of miles. Uh, once it once it's all loaded up, that's your weight that you're holding. It goes from about seventy pounds down to about fifteen to twenty pounds. So it makes quite a difference in the weight. This is a complete tent loaded onto the trailer. So all you're really carrying extra is a wheel and two sticks and they just go in the back of the car. So you could be pushing the trailer along and you could be wearing a rucksack in your back with the rest of your gear your sleeping gear and your cooking gear and whatever else you're taking with you. It'd be a lot easier uh, going along wooded tracks or uh, sides of rivers or wherever, wherever you need to take your tent to. The, the, the difference in weight is considerable. So you could push this along, no problem, for a few miles. Uh, just makes the whole thing a lot easier and it's easy to put up, it's easy to take down. So that's my answer to transporting my heavy gear. So taking a large tent is great when you've got a uh, family or friends going camping with you. Uh, Especially this tent. This tent is going to be a, a conversation piece. Uh, people will come up and ask where you go and they want to see it and see inside and all sorts. And you, you make friends uh, just by having something a, a wee bit out of the ordinary. But at the end of the day, I like to go bike camping, it's a lot easier, you can camp anywhere you like, yeah. it's a bit more lonely because I usually go myself bike camping, yeah. none of my mates like cycling very much, yeah. so this, is, this big tent is for my mates when I go camping with them. So, whoever, however you go camping, or whenever you get to go camping, again, just have a good time, enjoy it. By the time you get there, you will, you will have missed it quite a bit, just like me, I'm missing it terrible. So, thanks for watching, and happy camping.